Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play Fragments of Him. I'm playing this game for mid-boss's Season of Pride event, and I hear this is a tearjerker. According to his store page, Fragments of Him is a game about love, memories, and hope. That doesn't sound very sad, right? Let's dive in and see what this game is actually about. This is Fragments of Him. Oh! <gasps> this is so cute! I thought this was going to be like a point and click thing, but this is like an actual full 3D game. What? What? Oh. Hello. Oh, they cute. Who is that? Hello? 911? Oh, wow. Shit. We, okay, we've been to Paris. We've been to uh, the Pyramids of Giza. That's pretty fucking cool. We've been, I guess, is that supposed to be the leaning tower? Oh, it is, and it is leaning. Oh, that's cute. At first, I thought the tower wasn't leaning. I was like, that's a ripoff. <laughs> uh, I love you, Harry. Have a good day. I love you. Oh, have a good day. <gasps> we get voice acting. Aw, okay. It's easy to forget to appreciate the small things. I think I've done that too much. Um, oh, okay, so we just left. We left the apartment. All right, let's, uh, let's go this way. Oh, there's people in here. Hello? Hello? Do you need help? Oh, we can't go here, I guess. I guess that's what the, yeah, that indicates that we can't go somewhere. We can interact with that or we can do the stairs. Oh, wouldn't that be fucked if we just, like, ignored them? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's check this out. It's better to walk. Oh. Is this me? Sure, I go to the gym. But will that see me through? Oh, we're taking the stairs. Although, to be fair, going downstairs is easy. It's going up the stairs that you get your workout. <laughs> Technology, elevators, phones. It's all too instant. I've got to think long term. No more. I'll stop that drift. Yeah, okay. Okay. Whoop. So I think this is us. I think we're retracing our, our steps or something like that. Okay. Is this us? I'm really digging the glasses. We have a good fashion sense at least. Okay. I'm going to change things. Okay, I guess this is our car. Can we just like steal somebody else's car? Suddenly this is like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> These people look like they know how to have fun. Let's let's take this car instead. So far, this is pretty neat. I'm digging this. I wonder how much your choices actually affect the game, right? I don't feel like I chose to be here, but it is a good place. Okay. Can we have sex in the back seat? Like, is that a thing we could do? Oh, we have to check the mirror. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And then radio. Exactly, Kara. Exactly. And then adjust our seat. Yes. We we were totally having sex in this car. Totally. Why why else would we have to adjust the seat? Like, hello? Ah, uh, seatbelts are optional. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> seatbelts are not optional. For All right, I guess we have to wear a seatbelt. We have to wear the seatbelt. Let's go. Some of the patterns are worth keeping. Oh, we got a stroke that uh, emergent. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I handled that one nicely. All right. And then we put it into. I didn't put the car into gear. How? Oh, no. <laughs> I have so many questions. Do, do, do we? That's not how cars work, but OK. <laughs> OK, all right. And we're stalling. <laughs> and we stall out. I am not a good driver. That's fair. Apparently, I'm not a good driver in the game either. Uh, <laughs> Michael. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We're going for a ride. Let's go. I'm really digging this. Lucky this is so I've cute. Been. And I took it for granted. This is so cute. 
Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Pay attention to the road, Let sir. Let lose track of what I want after everything we've been through. I love that cafe. On warm evenings, sometimes I sit there with a glass of wine, waiting to catch Harry on his way back from work. I need to be looking out for things we can click. Okay. Did that go from red to yellow to to green? Is that how? Is that how some uh, light we traffic lights work together. outside the U.S.? We should do more. Of well, that. let's watch it. Let's watch it this time. Yeah, it does. That's so cool. I feel like if the U.S. had that, people would be running even more red lights, though. Like, they'd be preemptively, like... <laughs> I didn't expect it, but I feel happy I've made this choice. Hmm. I love the colors of your clothes! We got into an accident. We were just sitting there minding our own business. I know, the end. <laughs> Turn off. Oh, I see, I see. We have to do this. We have to do this. There we go. Patterns. Every day, the same start. Harry never wakes up from my alarm. Who the wears pajamas to bed? To a point. I used to love this efficiency, but I feel trapped by it now. One in chat if you sleep naked, like me. <laughs> this t-shirt is Harry's favorite on me. So I don't get it, are like, we in the afterlife now or something? Great stories, trapped in a moment. They're brilliant, but maybe I should add some new ones. We can't go out that way. These daily things, they're good, but weigh us down too. I've got to a good place in life, but I feel like I'm not taking it further. All right. Oh, now we can go through here, I see. Okay. I feel like I should nice try to break patterns. I usually use the bathroom first. This is a cute apartment, right? Oh, hey, look, it's the... It's the thing from the beginning. Okay. Uh, he says he wants to break patterns and he usually uses the bathroom Changing first. The routine. I'm so rock and roll. Yeah, we're gonna do things a little bit differently, though, here. Although I can't tell if this is before or after we got, like, rammed in the ass by a, a truck or whatever. T. Listen, it's hard to make a game about a tragic death lewd, okay? <laughs> I'm trying, chat. I am fucking trying. <laughs> a man takes the lead, Grandma would tell me. I guess I need to step up to the line. I've got a great thing here. All right, oh, are we putting this back on here? Okay. I, I should ask Harry to marry me. I doubt that was what she meant about taking the lead. Marriage. Oh, it's cute. Will Grandma come to the wedding? I think she will. Maybe. Oh my God. Okay, real talk. That really connected with me because I had the same thoughts about my grandparents. I did not know whether or not they would, and it was terrifying sending them the invite. Honestly. Of course, as Will's grandmother, I knew him since he was born. I visited him in hospital on that first day. I still remember the day that James, that's Will's father, handed my grandson to me. He was such a handsome boy from that first moment. Back in the 1980s, James was running three pubs in London. He was quite into that punk thing and looked a terrible state to me. I would babysit Will as often as I could to make sure he had someone normal in his life. Are we Will then? Maybe we're Will. I think we're Will. 
The magazines that Sharon read were full of paintings. I'm not sure they were very suitable for a young boy to be around, but I don't like to judge. That plant was about all Will saw of the outside when he was young. He preferred to make up stories rather than play outdoors. James liked such strange books, full of horrible things. I remember him telling me about one with rats everywhere. I really don't see the appeal. What a bottle! It's a what a bottle! <laughs> Mate, I want a what a bottle! <laughs> Sharon had some problems with the birth. So Will was an only child growing up. He played by himself a lot. Oh, that's sad. Sharon, Will's mother, met my James when he was working in London. She's American. They broke up for three years, and she took Will to America with her. Oh, shit. There was always music playing when I got to the house. Some awful racket. Not the sort of thing a child should be hearing. I always turned it off. I only wanted the best for Will. I I must sound like I was terribly damning of James and Sharon. But I loved Will as a boy and wanted to give him the best chance of a normal life. I love that they've made the game even more accessible. You can actually control movement and everything. Like, completely control movement with just the mouse if you wanted to. Hello, I clicked it. I there remember we go. an evening where Will was quieter than usual. At first, I thought he was ill. But? He had been in a fight at school. Oh, oh, are we building it? Okay, I see. A boy I had got been it. calling a dark skinned girl names. Oof. Oof. Will told the boy to stop and he was punched in the stomach. <gasps> Aww. I asked him if he had cried, and he said yes. I told him that big boys don't cry. I remember him asking me then, what do big boys do when they're sad? I suppose I didn't answer his question. I told him that he would be a good man when he was grown up and be able to stand up for himself. Boys cry. Just so y'all so know. I told him that he was right to try to stop the bully. Well, that's right, at least. I hope it was worth it. I hope all that work was worth it. Was it worth it, Will? Well, was it? <laughs> now I think about this. He didn't seem much happier. What should I have said? That it's okay to cry? That crying doesn't make you less of a man? Will tripped on a toy when he was going to bed. Ooh. He'll be fine, chat. He'll be fine. <laughs> All right, good night. <laughs> I remember carrying him. He was trying so hard not to cry. Mm. He was so small in my arms. I've never forgotten that feeling. Uh, what now? Oh, okay, we're done. End scene. <laughs> I have so many little memories making up our lives together. It's odd what sticks with you, though. Hmm. Oh, I, I, I only saw like that part of the outline. I was like, oh, a doggy door. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I took him to bed to read him a story. Okay. Dinosaurs. I want to read that book. I want to read the dinosaurs book. Let's read it right now on stream. 
He went through a phase of being scared of ghosts. Sharon would buy him ghost storybooks. And he had that pop-up haunted house book, too. Oh. We can check out the books then, yeah. I made sure he could see me looking carefully. <laughs> That's cute. He would never settle properly until I had checked the room for ghosts. Crab lady, yeah. Hey, Kiwi, hello. I'm not scared of the ghosts. I'm just perpetually haunted by them. There's a difference. <laughs> I remember that night clearly. I remember promising him that I would always protect him, no matter whatever happened. Of course, he was thinking of ghosts still. But maybe I knew then that his life wasn't going to be so easy. Mm, oh, we're reading the book. Okay. What book is that? Are we reading War and Peace? Look at the size of that book! God damn! <laughs> I've been reading him Grimm's fairy tales. Oh. I didn't like all the updated nonsense they'd been putting into stories back then. That night was a strange story called The Ungrateful Son. I'll tell it to you. It's only short. Only short, chat. Once upon a time, three hours Anna later, and his wife were eating a roast chicken for dinner. Hey, Rogue. Hello. Oh, this is cute. I like this. When the man saw his father, who was very old, walking up the road towards them, the man didn't want to share, and so he hid the chicken out of sight. Where'd he hide it? Up his ass? His father came, bid them a good day. Put it on the ground for all way. the ants? The ants are getting it. Why the fuck did you put that on the ground? The man was very happy, and so told his wife to put the chicken on the table again. Oh boy. But the chicken had transformed into a giant toad, which leapt onto the face of the man. That toad is face-fucking the man! That, that toad is making his mouth into a... Never mind, I'm just gonna stop while I'm ahead! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, look at the motion and everything. Yo, this is some too hot for Twitch action. Like, damn, that toad is really going at it. He just. <laughs> oh, no. The toad would never leave. And when his wife wanted to help, she was so afraid of it that she dared not go near. <laughs> the man had to feed the toad every day from then on, or it oh would bite his face. Oh my goodness. And he never rested for the remainder of his life. Oh my god. Like I say, it was a very strange story. It is very strange. Not as strange as my version of it, though. <laughs> Will was asleep before I finished it, which was probably a good thing. Is this the end of the scene? Or is there something else we have to find? I'm guessing that's the end of it. Oh, oh, I see. The lights. The lights then. No? Ah, this one. It Get left me in an odd mood. Order. I wondered how long I would be able to keep him safe. That one stays on. I hey, Volusia. I was going to take him. I was his grandmother, and I hoped I would help him be a good man. <clears throat> Grandma's peeping. 
Stop peeping, Grandma. <laughs> Go away. I can still see him sleeping there now. Like it was only yesterday. So I'm guessing, you know, Will's the one that died. And I don't know, I guess, are we like a third party observer then? I'm not sure. Or maybe we are Will in the afterlife watching. Like maybe we're listening to a funeral service or something. That's kind of what I've been I never thinking. thought it would be easy. But I had raised James, so I thought I would be ready for anything from my grandson, Will. The world changes so quickly. We're really short here. I wonder if we are Will as a kid right now. Maybe. Uh, okay. We just, we just chilling. Are we vibing? Oh, there's Will. Are we vibing? Who that? I remember the family visiting me when Will was a teenager. Is that mom and dad? There's a song by Al Martino here in my heart that was playing when robert first kissed me i listen to it when i'm alone sometimes it i is like one to ticket to, Brighton, <laughs> to the seaside and i would buy a new glass animal every time i went there collecting them oh wait Everyone oh no hobby, i think after james had grown up i went to new zealand to visit distant family over there it was a very long trip in those days, but it's important to keep in touch. We're all so spread apart in our lives now, don't you think? That global cooldown thing's annoying. I wish I could fix that easily, but it's been a bug for a long time. I'm trying to find what else we need to interact with. Oh, here it is. My husband Robert died when Will was young. He was a good writer, but I do wish he had tried a bit harder. Still, I loved him. Back then, Diana had just done that interview, and so we were all waiting for the divorce. There was no way we thought that they could stay together. No oh, shit. Sometimes people treat us old people like we have nothing to say, so I started the conversation. I see that Diana is in the news again. It seems like she's never out of it these days. It's about time she stopped keeping everyone waiting. Well, about that. <laughs> about that. I think it's sad. She was bullied into all of this from the beginning. I... I could have handled the rest of the conversation better. I lost my temper a bit. Oh. I told you before that Sharon is American. She didn't say anything, which was probably a blessing, really. Mm -hmm. James didn't help. He has always been so obtuse in his views. I wish I hadn't even tried. They didn't want to hear my views. I said that I was going to make some tea. No one offered to help. <gasps> Those bitches. Oh, there goes Grandma storming out. Like the absolute Karen that she is. I let the tea brew. And I cried. Aw. So headstrong. And he was going to make mistakes. I knew it. I couldn't change his mind. Mistakes like sucking dick. Probably. Is probably what she's thinking. Because remember, he was worried about whether or not she would come to the wedding, right? I knew something had been broken that day between Will and I. Aww. That's actually kind of sad. I took a deep breath and pulled myself together. It doesn't help anything to let others see you get upset. You load up the stream to Dick. I mean, what else are we ever talking about? Time after Will was born. That was when Robert passed away. I missed him, of course. 
yet it was tolerable until then. But then, after we disagreed, I felt so distant from them all. It was terrible. Robert passed away, and there's a very big pile of freshly dug up dirt in the backyard. Um, Grandma, where did you bury Grandpa? <laughs> did Grandma bury Grandpa in the backyard? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, geez. Okay. My generation has different values. Oh, goodness, I know that. But I very much believe that they are good. I was tempted to kick the table out, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't prepared to accept that Will wasn't going to talk to me anymore. Oh god, 8-bit, oh no. You can't accept it, really, when you see someone you love putting their future at risk. What did I say, Mimi? All these free ideas about people choosing their own way to live. He would understand later. But I thought it was like an end table or later. something. But yeah, stool. But before he changed, what damage would he do to his options? Can you believe, Michael? Can you believe? I mean, that is pretty typical Karen move, though. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> Doing right for really a bit. takes a lot of work, but I like to keep busy. Like, I like minimum two hours to get our Christmas tree up. Minimum. Oh, that's in the game. I thought I thought that music was IRL. I'm like, what the fuck? I was nervous about that Christmas. We hadn't been close for a while. May. May. <laughs> Snow Lush is extra, especially for Christmas. Yeah, Snow Lush, like, loves Christmas. Loves it. Uh, I'm waiting for her to fall off that stool. I remember a Christmas after Will had gone to university, but we were all coming back together for the holiday. Okay, Grandma. It was a real pain in the ass to get you to do that. I hope it was worth it. I try to keep in touch with friends. Of course, there was no email or that sort of thing back then. There's nothing like a real letter now, though. All right. Uh, are we done? Oh, oh shit. That's scary. I thought there was a person there. What the fuck? Oh, we have more, more on the Christmas tree. What the fuck? I oh, we need to put the angel to at the top. Perfect. Will was going to bring a girlfriend, Sarah, <laughs> and I wanted her to get the right impression. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, what the? Who the fuck are you? My family arrived just as the Christmas lunch was ready. It was perfect timing. Oh, is she a girlfriend? Did it? Did he bring home a girlfriend? It was lovely meeting Sarah. Sarah. She was a little shy, I think. She said a little about what she was studying and how happy she was with it all. She made a very good Sorry. impression. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I hadn't seen Will since he left. I wanted him to understand I wanted the best for him. I always wanted that, no matter if he disagreed with me. I have streamer brain chat. Also, is she still mad about the Diana shit? Let it go, lady. Let it go. Make like Elsa, bitch! <laughs> when Sharon took Will to America, he was only ten. Like most boys, he wasn't much of a letter writer. 
She took him away from us for three years, and I barely saw him. James is like his father, really. A wonderful boy, but I do wish he would apply himself more. Will was a perfect gentleman. Okay. Will also had a nice ass. I'm just throwing that out there, chat. <laughs> I am just stating for the record. Just putting that out there. He doted on Sarah. Oh, it's really cute, actually. That's really adorable. Oh. Oh, shit. We're emptying this shit out. Okay. Just don't mind me just reaching across... Just reaching across, y'all. Just being super rude about it. Okay. Here we go. And then, uh... The gravy. Can't forget the gravy. I just love having the gravy all over me. Just like drenched and I mean, wait, what are we talking about again? Okay, here we go. It filled me with pride and hope to see him that day. He was becoming the man I had hoped he would be. Yeah, I think that's, I think it's actually, no, no, I think it's actually his girlfriend. I think. With Sarah, I hoped he would be on track to a normal life. Oh boy, I don't like the way she said normal. Uh-oh. But that was the last time I saw her. Uh-oh. It didn't last, huh? Why, why are you looking at me like that? What I do? Do I stink? Is that something I said? The next summer, I went to visit Will at university. And walked in on Will getting gang banged by the rugby team. Calling it now. Calling it now. At least that's how I came out of the closet. But anyway, um. <laughs> then I saw that he was holding hands with a man. <gasps> I never except like all the time <laughs> and then they kissed out in the open where anyone could see <gasps> oh my god I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's go, Granny. I couldn't believe it. I knew that his views would get him in trouble. After all I had tried to teach him, he went and did that. He did that, chat. He existed. Take my award nominations now, chat. Um. <laughs> what did she right saw? Away. She left right away, huh? Like, I like how we're interacting with these people. Granny probably shoved these people out of the way. You know that's what's happening here. You know that's why she's like, get out of my way! My my grandson is. Having intimacy with a man! Ah. Will didn't see me. What was I supposed to do? Act like everything was going to be okay for him? He was still so young. There are people out there who won't accept that sort of thing. The university suddenly seemed like an ugly place to me. All that entitlement and sense of smugness. It's a weird 
It was oh, full of children look. running around abusing the freedom that my generation worked hard to earn for them. Man, if that's abusing freedom, man, I abuse freedom all the time in all sorts of naughty ways. <laughs> I abuse the freedom real good, chat. Like, really good. <laughs> I wanted to be civil, but I was so angry with him. With them all. He was putting himself in danger. You know, like, honestly, hearing her talk is really, it honestly sounds like she's less concerned with will liking men more concerned about society's perception of it and that i think is very common among that generation my my grandparents had the same thing going on my, my grandparents were well at least one of my grandmothers uh she was very concerned about that she wasn't so well she also told me i had a, a demon inside of me uh, controlling me and making me suck dick. So there's that too. Um, but <laughs> that sort of thing. It all just uh -huh. feels wrong to me. Sorry, but that's just the way I feel about this. Sorry, but there it is. Sorry, but I'm not homophobic, but I'm not racist, but. <laughs> Oh, God. I barely saw Will for the next few years. I couldn't bring myself to talk to him. Oh, Jesus, Grandma. Looking back, it was silly. Wait, why is... Why are we going to the shed? Is this where... Is this where Granny hides all the bodies? He had gone traveling after university, and I stayed at my house. Okay. That is where the demon lives. <laughs> it's hard not to live in the past sometimes when you have so much time to yourself. I wish my husband Robert had had more of a chance to know Will. Oh, so you having like flashbacks? If he knew how much I loved him when he was growing up. When he was growing up, does that mean she doesn't love him anymore? That's kind of fucked. I remember so clearly before he changed. When he was just a happy little boy. I had such hopes for Will and all the things that he would be when he was a man. But life goes on. I was working in the garden. Things go wild if you leave them too long. Okay. We've been following around Grandma here for a long time. Is this a story about Grandma or is this Will about Will? The world. I would very occasionally get a postcard from somewhere foreign. <laughs> I like I said very occasionally. <laughs> oh. This was before he went into the travel journalism. I worried about him so much. Okay. It's a pretty cool job, right? To tend to the weeds. <laughs> Jungle. Neither. It was a I mid boss. Imagine he was really happy. He never seemed to want to settle down. He just wanted constant change and excitement. I don't even know. Whoop. Grandma, someone's at the door. 
Get up faster. Okay, that's mean. <laughs> that's really mean. Never mind. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. We're we're walking very slowly. Of all the damn things, I twisted <gasps> my ankle when I was going to answer it. Oh no. That I sucks. lay there feeling like a complete idiot. Oh. Ow. Well, that's not that's not any good. Are you gonna do you have life alert? Someone There was nothing I could do. I tried to move, but it hurt too much. I called out for help. I've fallen and I can't get up. Life alert. I heard someone coming around the side of the house. Is that Will? I bet it's Will. Gotta be Will, right? Which side? It was Will. Ah. Uh, coming to visit me. Knew it. He'd come back Aww. from traveling. Aww. I had been so cold to him, never reaching <laughs> out. It. But that didn't matter to him. He Aww. looked after me anyway. Wow, Will's a sweetheart. Will is a sweetheart. Inside the man he was, I could see for the first time the same kind boy I knew before. I don't claim that I'll understand some of his choices. Choices, listen, Grandma. I swear to God. <laughs> Let's get you inside. But I had missed something. Distracted by just one part of him, I missed that he was the kind, strong, loving man I had always wanted him to be. The best sort of man. He was even kind to a fool like me. Well, I'll agree with her there. I'll never forget that. Oh, it's actually kind of sweet. Oh, 